Hi and welcome to another Schoolbox tutorial. Today we're going to be talking and looking at how we can use the social stream on our home pages and class pages. To use the social stream we're going to first browse to one of our pages. So in this case I'm just going to use my chemistry page. But of course the social stream can be used on any home page, so group pages, uh, project teams or any, any home page in Schoolbox. You can see I have a social stream added to my page already, but if you don't have one, uh, simply click customize at the top, browse to the collaboration category, and click add to the social stream, and it will appear on your page. You can see the description here. It says allows comments, links, images, videos, and files to be posted in a collaborative stream. We've seen uh, a lot of changes in the way that students uh, communicate over the last couple of years and of course one of those being uh, a more sort of social way of uh, communicating online. So we've developed the social stream. It's a component that you can see here that allows uh, teachers and or students to post and uh, communicate through commenting in a threaded environment in a familiar digital communication style similar to Facebook or things like that. So our social stream uh, allows a teacher to uh, post, as you can see, uh, videos, links and uh, images or files and each of these posts uh, is uh, controlled through the actual post uh, text box area here. So we may want to say watch this video and we can simply hit link and put a TED video or a YouTube video in here. That's also automatically going to um, embed that here too. Uh, alternatively, we may want to upload a file. Uh, so we could post an image um, or we could browse to an existing asset uh, like a handout or those types of things. And once we're done, we simply click post. Now, I'm just going to uh, jump over here as a student and uh, just get this in the window. And as a student, I'm now logged in as David Rhodes. Uh, if we actually navigate to that page, we'll see the actual uh, social stream load here. So this social stream had been set up to be collaborative, and we'll go through the settings in a minute. But you can see as a, as a student, I'm also able to actually post into the stream. So I could say, this is great. And I might, might even want to share a, a resource that I've found. So I could, as a student, come in and, uh, and actually post a, uh, a file or a, a link to a resource that I think is going to benefit the whole class. Now, uh, I'm also able to obviously comment. So I could come down on, um, on this particular link and I could uh, post a comment and say, this is interesting. And hit post. So it's a, a, a much more modern uh, communication style, as you can see. Now I'm just going to jump back as a teacher and show you the settings that are available with this new component. Uh, we've got the ability to tick collaborate, and if this is ticked, it's going to mean that people with read access to this homepage, in this case students uh, or group members, they're going to be able to actually post into the uh, into the stream. Alternatively, I might disable that and just allow commenting, which means that just group managers and or the teacher are going to be able to post and everyone else can comment, or I can have both. Uh, I can also rename this stream. Uh, I can set the size of how many are going to be displayed before the load more button. And hitting load more is also going to load this number of additional posts when I hit that. Uh, I've also, uh, like a lot of components in Schoolbox, got the ability to select an alternate source. This is going to allow me to actually add multiple social streams to my class page, but each one can draw its source from an, a, a different home page. So only one social stream per home page can be the actual source content. But look, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope that's been helpful. We're really looking forward to seeing how this gets used in the classroom. And uh, if you've got any questions, uh, we'd love you to uh, contact us or to refer to our wiki at wiki.schoolbox.com.au. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.